that you have this guy come over to the last place team in the Eastern Conference and put every team he has played in his pocket, mm -hmm. including uh, a Mexican um, team as well. Yeah, it's a good question, and I, I, I think I, I've asked that to myself as well. Like, is this? It's great for for MLS and exposure, mm -hmm. but is it also like saying? Because the argument was that this league over the last decade has really gotten closer to what they are in Europe, not the same level. Yeah, they couldn't probably play in a in a, in a league, second or third league, probably a lot of these teams. But <laughs> certainly maybe in England. But getting there and more sure. respectable and getting good players to come over, not just players when they turn forty and now you can come play here. Yeah, you know, good pl players at high level. I think it, I think we'll we'll see if this if if this continues at this level throughout next season can they put it together for an extended period of time will the 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 first of all the the will shine will they be there though in a certain period? that's the thing Messi's contract is only until yeah. 2025 yeah. but he has the Copa America coming up for yeah. Argentina like that's the thing I'm wondering like do they just have this stint and then they leave and if then he comes over for 20 games and scores 40 goals and leaves that's not good that's not a good luck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying yeah, though. That's not a good and it's luck. not it's not me trying to talk poorly about MLS, but I think the comparison to Europe is relax, calm down. Mm -hmm. The comparison that okay, they're better than they were ten years ago, sure. sure, but that's still not where they need to be, I yeah. think is the biggest thing.